I'm gonna go ahead and say record and then I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, make keyframe of the movement so that is red now and also make keyframes for the rotation and set them back and then when I move one second this box should also move down uh, and collide with this this thing and then with, when it collides I want it to also rotate uh, somewhat like this and also move down and then I want to move it down like that and then I want it to set back to the rotation I wanted it so like 0 0 and 0 and then it stands over there and when I play it it should give me a really bad result like if I play it right now like what the heck is that All right it does not look smooth or what the heck is it it is not physics right so uh, what you will do is you will delete all the keyframes and say record and then play the game and then as you can see when you play the game you think that you are recording it but the record mode is now off so you cannot record that animation over there so how do you do it well it is quite simple if you have the script so let me just go ahead and import the script it is right on my desktop and you can download the script the link will be in the description box below so it is called record I named it record you can name it anything you want um, it's called record and then what you have to do is you have to select the physics um, object or any object you want to animate all right so what i want to do is i want don't want to animate this guy i will do that later on but i want to animate this skull as you can see over here so what will happen is that i i want to recreate the uh, sniper light for uh, kill cam kind of a thingy so when you hit the uh, skull it will break into pieces so i have already done that so I have already gone into blender and made all of these uh, pieces one by one so as you can see if I rotate them so there are these different uh, individual uh, pieces of the skull which make the skull so it's really simple if you want the tutorial it will be uh, I will make it if you want uh, please let me know in the comments so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and first give them the materials so select all of them and then go ahead and drag and drop the material on top of it uh, not this material sorry this one so by the way if you want to download any one of these anime uh, these 3d models so I have downloaded them uh, from a game so these 3d ob 3d models are from game this is from shadow Gale, I guess shadow zone I don't know this one is sniper light 3 and then this one is from GTA 5 so if you want to learn how to extract uh, 3d models from any game then please go ahead and check out my video the link will be in the description box below and in there I have downloaded this this 3d model and also added the uh, materials and it looks something like this but um, back here uh, we have these uh, things so when I play the game nothing will actually happen because it does not has any physics now so they are just objects just rendering over here so what I want to do is I'm gonna select all of these ob uh, pieces then go ahead and say add component one thing rigid body is necessary and then the second thing is mesh collider sorry mesh collider and then make sure they are convex so now as you can see these guys have all the uh, colliders and uh, it is really really heavy for the computer to you know calculate all of these collisions and all of them are mesh colliders with convex on and they all have rigid bodies so this makes your game really really unnecessarily heavy so what you want to do is you want to bake this animation and record that animation inside of an animation and this is what I'm gonna do because uh, if I play the game now you will see they will just fall down uh, like that and then they will break into pieces like that. <laughs> okay that is a skull okay uh, but I want to explode them so what I want to do is I want to explode them so how I do with that is I go inside and make a empty game object and I'm gonna go ahead and say sphere collider in it sphere collider and go into the orthographic mode bring this sphere over here make it smaller so this sphere will actually collide with all of these and make kind of an explosion thing so now when I play the game, the skull should explode. Uh, so 
kind of like explode and poof. <laughs> so um, yeah it looks cool so I want to record that skull kind of exploding thingy so how do I do that so um, what you can do is you can go ahead and go to the skull or in your case it can be anything and I'm gonna also animate that uh, that box over there but for now we're gonna do this the skull thingy so go to the skull and go to the animation window go to animate window animations and animation and then go ahead and say create a, an animation I will call this explode explode so when you go to the pro uh, and leave this explode as it is and go to the project and find the explode in my case it is over here so it is an empty animation clip right so next thing what you want to do is you want to go to the actual skull on which the animator controller is so animator controller go to and add component and say record the the script which we just imported and it says only one thing he wants the clip that we just made so an empty clip on which it will record the animation and that is that guys that is that so when you play the game now it will uh, record the animation on top of this empty uh, animation explode so when I play the game it is gonna go ahead and bam explode and now it is recording that animation and when I exit the play mode and then I go ahead and select the skull and then uh, skull animation explode there we go as you can see the skull is exploding and this is the animation of that right so as you can see if I go in the skull and in there we can see all of these uh, keyframes of each and individual piece that we just made so BAM Pew. like really really nice right um, so yeah uh, as you can see these are the positions scales rotation of each and every uh, piece that we have in over here so yeah of course you cannot do that individually by hand you have to uh, record that otherwise uh, you will have to um, uh, you know make it by hand right so I'm gonna go to the skull and here as you can see there is that animation uh, explode over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set the speed to 0.1 so make it in slow motion and when I play the game now you will see that the skull will explode in slow motion look at that and this all is animation now what we can do is uh, that will be really cool to select all the mesh uh, all the individual pieces so all the individual pieces and then remove the rigid body so remove the rigid body remove the mesh colliders and then remove this sphere collider that we just made for the explosion and that is that now we don't have any physics related things on top of these they are just game objects that are animated and these animated game objects will explode in slow motion just like that so 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 cool right okay but one thing I just uh, did is that when I play the game again you can see that each time you play the game the animations will be little different because you have the record script still on and it is still recording this whole thing that is just happening all right this script is actually recording this so that is not what you want right so if I play the game again it is gonna uh, again do it in slow motion and all that and little change as you can see now it is really 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 slow because this is recorded in slow motion so it is also playing in slow motion it is also recorded in slow motion and now when I play the game again because it this thing is also recorded due to this this script it is now gonna uh, I don't think so it's gonna move like they're just hanging in the air because uh, we have that script on there uh, so what you want to do is you want to record the animation and then immediately after that remove this uh, script or you can just in uh, disable that all right simply like that but that is that now let's quickly go ahead and record this box again um yeah so we have the animator controller on top of it and also we have the uh, empty 
uh, box drop animation so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to add component and say record and then okay where's the cube and then I'm gonna go to project and then go ahead and drag and drop my box drop animation that is an empty uh, an empty animation and then I'm gonna go ahead and play the game and make the animation for this guy so bam and wham and that is that get out of the empty uh, the get out of the play mode and then first thing you should do is you should disable the record script and then go to animations and there you can see there are position and uh, uh, rotation and the scale uh, three of them are over here and as you can see it is gonna do the animation really smoothly like it should and actual physics is happening over here guys actual physics so uh, that is really really cool satisfying and animation so um, I can simply go ahead and remove the box collider I can remove the rigid body I can uh, yeah so there's no physics related component and I can still do the physics thing over here and that is best thing yeah so um, that is that one thing you may uh, have uh, like there should may be an error that when I recorded these animation I recorded this uh, skull exploding animation and then when I uh, tried to build my game so file build settings and build um, there was a problem that uh, it was not building the game just because of this script so once you are uh, satisfied th with the uh, animations you have to delete this uh, script to in order to build your game otherwise i think it is just for android uh because i just tried it for android so but yeah uh if you are having any kind of problems with the build you can try deleting this uh, record script it's not gonna uh, interfere with your animations at all because now your animations are um recorded so i can just simply go ahead and delete the script and then i can go to my uh cube and as you can see I can remove the script from here to um, remove component so there is no record script over here and still I can go to animations and play the animation because the animation is now uh, recorded and baked in here so that is that hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video